Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 9th through the 15th. This is for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now my readings are love readings, so if you are in a happily ever after relationship then you probably shouldn't watch this reading because tarot readings are for people that are struggling. If you are in a happy relationship, you don't need to come look for a tarot reading. All right, you're good. You should be happy, okay? If you're not, you know, that's when you come looking for a tarot reading. This one didn't pick up, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. Oh, strength. It's perfect. This is, this is strength. You guys are feeling strong this week, or you're needing to. Okay, this is confidence. Courage, power, power, beautiful. Maybe you're feeling very powerful. I'm starting to get the goosebumps for you. Oh my goodness. Ooh, strength to overcome some sneaky shit. Yikes, you're going to need it by the looks of things. Okay, so we have the tower. The ta You know what the tower is. It's a faded event, something that changes your life for the better, but it may cause some confusion in the interim. You know, there could be somebody in your uh, in your midst that is a, is up to no good, and you're gonna have to be strong. Okay, so keep that in mind. Be careful. Okay, really think about this. Something is going to happen in which you are going to have to probably discern the situation. All right, really find your force within you to remain calm and in control. You know, to master your emotions through whatever this situation is. You're dealing with somebody that is a trickster. Okay, you're dealing with a very tricky individual here who likes to fill you up with illusions. And, you know, you're going to have to, we have power here and power here. So you're going to really have to find that inner power, okay, to deal with this, to be flexible and to adapt to whatever this is. Okay, you might have to make a decision. And you're going to have to really look deep before you make this decision. Because this is a decision as well. This means hold up. Really look deep. Okay. You may feel like you've been zapped by this. You may feel like you're like this, whatever. When this happens, you may feel like a big jolt of uh, pressure. You may feel pressure. You may, may feel a loss of strength. You may feel a loss of self-esteem or self-confidence, you know whatever but that's just a moment okay so there is going to be some sort of happening that you know needs your attention and it may make you it may bring you down for a minute okay but this opportunity isn't serving you anyway okay um it doesn't lead to victory and success whatever this sneaky shady crap that is going on it doesn't lead to victory and success in your life, okay? So I feel like there's some sort of um, I'm just looking at the rest of these cards real quick. Somebody's been in denial and you can only be in denial for so long whether it's you or the other person. Somebody has been in denial about accepting the truth of a situation. Interesting. Two of Swords reversed. This is seeing the truth, lies being exposed. Lies are definitely going to be exposed, okay? That's for damn sure. And they need to be exposed. so that you can heal so I'm not sure so that you can start the healing process so that you can continue with your healing something needs to be accepted so that you can continue with your healing path it's going to take strength to accept the truth of a situation it is definitely going to take strength it needs to happen because somebody has been not recognizing that something is really not working out. It's really not happening. It's not coming together. It's not serving you. Something is not serving you 
and you may not have been strong enough to take action. You may have been indecisive, but now you have to find your strength because it's time to find your strength. There's been some discontentment for sure. Discontentment, confusion, pretending, pretending that everything is okay when everything is not okay. Oh, I do need to get this zoomed in. People see that you're juggling. People see that. People see that you're juggling. People see that you aren't as balanced as that you need to be. That you're seeking balance. People see that. But they're trying to deceive you. People see that you're beautiful. People see that you're strong. So that's when they push you. That's when they test you. When people see your strength, they poke and they prod. And that's what's going on here. Your challenge, your challenge is this Four of Cups, is, is dealing with this opportunity. Your challenge is seeing it clearly. Walking away from it self-respect interesting I want to get this zoomed in before we keep going okay so the overall outcome is the two of swords reversed that is you holding on to anxiety and resentment blocking the truth even though you know the truth allowing this hurt that you're feeling whatever the situation is to hold you back from taking the next step that you need to take from progressing forward you're let you are staying stuck and the universe sees that you're staying stuck they see that you're not making a decision they see that okay they see that they see that you you're not you're being indecisive you're not making a decision you're you're going back and forth with it you know you don't know what to do and they see that it's bringing you down and that it may be hurting you and it's time for you to make a move and that's when the universe the tower card is a universal card comes up and says time to make that move because it's what you deserve It's time for you to receive. It's time for you to bring back balance and harmony to your life. There's going to be conflicts, power struggles, and there has been, right? This ain't no game. Blocking the truth, blocking communication, is self-deceit. It's like you're going backwards by involving yourself in this game with somebody else. Somebody is absolutely playing games with you. You're letting them. You have to be strong. You have to ground yourself. You have to get real. Accept the reality of the situation. Somebody is deceiving you. Somebody is a liar. Somebody is a sneak. Somebody doesn't like you. They're jealous. Somebody's jealous of you. And you're going to have to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to be practical. You're going to have to see it as it is. Accept it. Nurture yourself at this time. Maybe you have to cut somebody out of your life, even if it hurts.
you know, this may not be something that you want to hear, or you may be receiving some kind of message that you don't want to hear, but it has to be heard so that you can progress. It has to be dealt with. I feel like you're, you are probably receiving some, some kind of communication or message or information, whether it's even from your inner guide, you're receiving something that you deserve to receive so that you can move on from a deceptive situation and bring stability and security and balance and harmony back to your life. And that is what you deserve. Look at that. There's consequences here for your choices. This is a card of consequences. This is a card of consequences. What you own owns you. Be careful. What you own owns you. Whatever you choose is what owns you. If you want happiness, if you want happily ever after, you have to make a decision. You have to make a choice. And be prepared to live with the consequences of that choice. So for some of you, not all of you, there's an opportunity for love here. Okay, my readings are love readings, right? So for some of you, there's an opportunity of love. But it's not who you think it's with. Okay, this is an unexpected choice. It's not with the one that you think it is. It's somebody that you don't think it is. This person comes into your life unexpectedly. And there's a strong connection. But you may not think this person is the one because you had your eye set on somebody else or your heart set on somebody else or you this other person has entered your life, whatever. It could go so many different ways. There's an unexpected choice in love with somebody that is not your usual type. But you can feel the chemistry and it could lead to happiness. But you may not be strong enough to let this person into your life because you've been deceived in the past. That could be the case. Or you may be indecisive because you have two paths. Which one are you going to choose? Do you, do, you, do you stay in this situation with the one that uh, you are thinking about right now? Or do you accept this new opportunity with this, this magnetic attraction that has just popped into your life? So I feel like there is an opportunity for some of you for a new love connection that is kind of like undeniable and you have to make a choice between two paths. Which way are you going to go? You want to stay, you want to stay where you're at? You want to move forward with somebody else? Take strength to follow your heart. We have Gemini. Could be Gemini, could be Libra, could be Aquarius, could be Leo, could be Scorpio, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be any sign, really. Okay? We have, uh, I already said that. It could be any sign. I feel like there's an opportunity for happiness, there's an opportunity for bliss with somebody that you don't expect. Somebody that is very well suited for you could bring a lot of excitement into your life. Something to write home about could be an Aries, but this person is a family man or a woman. This is somebody who is very family oriented, very strong, very capable. And this person will help you to bring structure back to your life. But, of course is a but, you have to think positive. If you think negative, then that ain't going to do nothing for you because your thoughts become things. This opportunity is an opportunity you've been waiting for. It's something that your ships are finally coming in after waiting for quite some time. It's like, this is what you wanted. But, if you be dishonest with yourself, or if you don't accept this opportunity, it could be a terrible injustice. This is somebody who doesn't want to accept the truth, doesn't want to see the truth. This is dishonesty. Unfairness, treating themselves unfairly or being treated unfairly by another person, which I can see that some of you are being treated unfairly and you're allowing it. You're allowing it. So I feel there is an opportunity to rebalance the scales, rebalance your life. If you can discern a shady situation or a shady person in the right manner 
and make the right choice to go after what you deserve. Sagittarius. There's a new opportunity here. There's a new opportunity for love. There is. With somebody that suits you very, very well. Very well. But you may not think that you're you're worthy. And that's too bad. It really is. You are worthy. You know, you need to remove yourself from a toxic situation, toxic mindset. You need to stop lying to yourself. You need to free yourself from that mentality. It's time to restore both of these cards, control of your life. Take back control of your life. You're the boss, nobody else. One more card. Oh, there's a loss of direction, a lack of discipline, and a loss of willpower. Why? Why? You have the ability to master your emotions at any time, to move forward instead of staying stuck. You've been stuck in a rut, and you're allowing it, and it takes strength to step outside of that rut, to allow a fresh new beginning, to allow new beginnings to happen. You have to find the strength to do that. There's, a, there's a, a new offer that is very exciting waiting for you. And I think you know who this person is already. If not, they're coming in soon. Okay? But you need to treat yourself fairly in this situation. What do you deserve? What do you deserve? Do you be deserve to be deceived? Do you deserve to be lied to? Do you deserve to say, stay in a situation that is less than passionate? No. You don't. You have an opportunity with for happiness here if you can master your emotions and move forward. I think you're protecting yourself. That's what I think. You're protecting yourself from being hurt. Even though this is what you want. You do. You want this. Ooh. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. However that resonates with you. Maybe you're married and you don't want to be. Maybe, you know, this could go so many ways. Maybe this person is going to marry you. This new person eventually. You know, that could, this could go a hundred different ways. There's a new exciting opportunity with somebody that is very well suited for you. It's up to you. Do you want to take it or not? That you will live with the consequences. If whatever, whatever choice you make, there will be consequences. Do you stay or do you go? There's an opportunity right now that can lead to something solid, a solid, happy commitment. You may have to get a divorce to get this commitment if you're married or split. But it's what you've been waiting for. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. More importantly, find out what is important to you. To you. And act on it. Talk to you later, Sagittarius.